discipline. It's something we all want, but seems to be getting harder and harder to develop. I've noticed recently that there is an increased number of months allocated to creating more constructive habits. We have got things like September, dry January and no nut November, all of which gather people together and promote the discipline to abstain from various destructive habits like drinking, drugs, porn, etc. I think these are great and they suggest that we have a strong desire to change negative habits. However, I'm sure you already know that changing habit is much easier said than done. How many times have you made a plan, committed to a goal, or promised yourself change, only to stop after a few days, given into your impulses, and return to your old self? It happens a lot. Discipline is simply your ability to overcome your short-term desire, and short-term desire is the death of habit change. So, to change habits, we need to develop discipline. In this video, you'll find why discipline is so important, why it's becoming more difficult for you to develop it, and how you can develop discipline. Stoicism and Discipline The Stoics were advocates of self-mastery. They promote self-examination, self-control, personal responsibility, and objectivity. Stoicism teaches us that without discipline, we are destined to float through life as a passenger, pulled along by default, by the wimp of the world around us and our base desires. However, with discipline, we are able to plot our own course. You become captain, standing at the helm of your ship. You develop the ability to choose your direction and leverage what is within your control to get there. Why build self-discipline? Whenever we have a goal, whether it's losing an extra weight, building our dream business, or becoming an incredible musician, we need to put in the work. To put in the work, we need to be able to overcome our impulses. That's discipline. The ability to act despite the temptation not to. This doesn't mean that you'll feel the desire to slack off. It just means that you're developing the ability to resist that feeling. The more you act in spite of your impulses, the better you are able to do so. Discipline develops much like a muscle. Given that achievement, habit building, and goal reaching requires us to show up and work. Discipline is one of the most important life skills required to be successful, whatever success means to you. Discipline versus motivation. Motivation is a great fuel to get stuff done, but it's inconsistent. It comes and goes. So if you rely solely on motivation to get things done, it's easy to fall back into old habits or procrastinate. Discipline is different. It's consistent. Discipline takes up the slack whenever motivation doesn't show up. It keeps us moving towards our target even when our body or mind wants to stay warm, cuddled up on a sofa, eating Doritos and watching Netflix. Don't get me wrong, I'm an advocate of having lazy days every now and then to recharge. But I think it's important for it to be a choice, not a crutch. When we rely on motivation, our performance comes and goes, and we risk falling back into old habits. We must build discipline. Our performance remains steady. As Jocko Wilk says, discipline equals freedom. Why is it getting more difficult to build self-discipline? Discipline isn't easy. It's an uphill hike and the hill doesn't have a summit. I think discipline is getting harder to cultivate. And the simple answer for why that's the case is that life is getting easier. An easier life creates two conditions that makes discipline difficult to cultivate. First temptation. We are surrounded by more and more sources of temptation and distraction that makes it incredibly difficult to overcome our impulses. Things like TV, social media, video games, YouTube, etc. are all competing for our attention and many of them are designed specifically to draw us in and keep us hooked. This increasing noise makes it difficult for us to overcome our desires not to work. Even so, this is not an excuse. It is our responsibility to learn how to manage it. Second lack of resistance. An easier life also gives us less opportunity to practice discipline. Discipline will atrophy like a muscle if it's not used. In our world today, it's easier to get but without having to use it. Amazon offers next day delivery. Netflix lets us watch what we want when we want. Facebook and Instagram gives us little dopamine hits whenever we need them. Food can be delivered in 30 minutes. The list goes on. Instant gratification is slowly removing opportunities for us to practice discipline. We are becoming impatient, expectant, 
and our attention span is reducing. Unfortunately for us, the world is removing sources of resistance. The same resistance that is needed for discipline to grow. The psychological impact of knowing you can do something is profound. And you can only find this boundary by pushing yourself through resistance. No one finds their limits sat on the sofa. So in a world that's removing sources of resistance, what can we do? We make our own. Some examples, regular exercise, events like charity run, mud run or something like that, martial arts, learn a new hobby, wake up early, start a passion project slash side hustle or business. How do we build discipline? I've said before that discipline is like a gym. We need resistance to grow and that growth will depend on the resistance we apply. If we are new to the gym, we don't go balls to the walls and try to deadlift 300 kgs. We start small with light weights. The same is true for discipline. Start small, make your bed, do the laundry, tidy your room, write a page, read a page, don't eat chocolate bars, walk at lunch, put down your phone, wake up early, etc. How to build self-discipline in a stoic way is something I've covered in this video. So click here.